The Tag Team Perk Deck, a perk deck that was added with the H3, H3, Ethan, and Gila character pack. So let's quickly go over what this perk deck has to offer. As with every other perk deck, you know, these aspects are shared, so I will not be going over them. Soulmates unlocks and equips the Gas Dispenser. To activate the Gas Dispenser, you need to look at another allied unit within a 10 meter radius with a clear line of sight and press the throwable key to tag them. Each enemy you or the tagged unit kills will now heal you for 10 health and the tagged unit for 5 health. Each enemy you kill will now extend the duration of the effect by 0.6 seconds and reduce the cooldown timer by 2 seconds. This effect will last for a duration of 2 seconds and has a cooldown of 12 seconds. Scent. Your maximum health is increased by 20%. Synergy. Each enemy you or the tagged unit kills will now grant you 2 absorption up to a maximum of 20. This effect will last until the perk deck item goes out of cooldown. Inhale. Your maximum health is increased by 20%. And last but not least, Harmony. Each enemy tag unit kills will now reduce the perk deck item cooldown by 2 seconds until you are no longer paired. So, I, I don't know, I'm fairly split on this perk deck. On one hand, I think it's a nice idea. Using a buddy system and being an inherently helpful perk deck for you and your teammates makes it pretty enticing to use. However, as you saw from the description, the perk deck itself feels fairly mediocre. The only real benefit you're getting is an extra little health boost increase and health regeneration while the effects of the gas dispenser are active. So the neutral game of this perk deck leaves something to be desired since you basically have no real help to your survivability outside of using the gas dispenser. This makes dodge builds pretty unviable since you're pigeon held to using an armor setup and even then, you're not really getting much help other than a small boost to health. So to work with that, I made a setup for full health increase, using the middle tree of Mastermind for Jokers and Hostage Taker and the like. A link to my build is in the description if you want to see it. Please don't ask me what build I'm using. Now, the talk about the actual health regen itself from the gas canister's effect is not bad. And it's actually fairly substantial if you get both you and the person you use it on to score a lot of kills. But the main problem is just the cooldown. For how effective the healing is, the cooldown is fairly long. You know, it's pretty painful waiting between each usage of the gas canister. And I think this perk deck was balanced in the sense that they expected you to get a buttload of kills while under the effects. But that's really unrealistic expectations if you're playing on one down difficulty. It's just not easy to get that many kills. And you both need to get the kills for healing and reducing the cooldown. So it just didn't feel all that great when I tried it out. A neat idea, but overall I feel like it's a fairly mediocre perk deck. Now, the real problem I have with this perk deck is just the usability of it. It, I don't know man, it's like Overkill didn't even test it out before they added it to the game. I have a myriad of problems with it. First and foremost, the activation. You know, I get that you didn't want it so you can activate it across the entire map with someone that's a little speck in the distance. They needed to be somewhat close to you. You know, I get that, that's fine. But the range to activate the effect on your teammate is still pretty short. And even more stupid is the fact that if you're too close to your teammate, it won't activate. You know, the real range of activation is more like in between 5 to 10 meters, not anywhere within 10 meters. If I'm standing too close to someone, sometimes I have the hardest time trying to get the damn thing to activate, and it's super frustrating. I have no clue if that's an intentional thing or not. So that's my first gripe. My second gripe is that the activation itself has little to no leeway for the aim. You know, at first I thought it was weird that it was kind of hard to activate it on a teammate, but the more I played, the more I realized it was because I wasn't aiming directly at the person. I think your crosshair has to be like touching the person you want to activate it on. You know, I figured there'd be some leeway like when you inspire someone or when you yell at enemies, it's kind of like this cone effect. But for some reason, maybe it's just me, you have to have some MLG Pro aim to get it to work on teammates. Like you have to be right on the dot, like a straight line. And I, I don't know, this game has some really stupid character models. They like to run around as fast as Sonic, but as slippery as running on ice. So the fact that there was no leeway to the registration of the activation, yet again, that makes it very difficult to use. And to kind of piggyback off this, uh, in the description, it said you can't activate the perk deck through walls. You have to be looking at someone. 
I guess it's a balance thing or whatever, but you know, being unable to try to help someone that is close to you, but just separated by one thin doorway is impossible. And you know, if this was an intentional design decision, I don't know why they would add so many limiting factors to the usage of the perk deck when every other perk deck in the game requires no thought to use or activate, you know? Even among other deployable perk decks, they can activate it anytime on themselves without any problems like Kingpin or Stoic or something. And, you know, with the deployable perk decks in particular, when we use them, we're already giving up a pretty crucial part of our loadout just to be able to use the perk deck. Without throwables, dealing with things like Captain Winners is stupidly difficult and not fun at all. So, I don't know. Just having so many limiting things to the activation is very, very frustrating. And if that wasn't bad enough, even if you do manage to activate the perk deck on one of your teammates, they have no idea when it's been activated on them. You know, I tested it with some guys, and apparently there's a small sound you can hear, and if you just so happen to be looking at the health bar of the person using the perk deck, it'll show it being activated in the usual circle countdown nonsense. But otherwise, there's no outward display or notification to the other user that it's been used on them. So for something as important as a buddy system perk deck where it relies so heavily on using other people, the fact that there's little to no indication to the other party unless you constantly call it out to them or they just so happen to be staring at your health bar, most of the time it's nearly impossible to use it as a collaborative team effort because they just have no idea when you activate it. And like I said, I really like the idea of the perk deck. Forcing a bit of cooperation to make it work seems like a neat idea when pretty much every perk deck in this game, even one supposedly made for the purpose of helping out your team, like Crew Chief, they're pretty much just activated in a way that doesn't require the help of other people. But all these flaws just make it so not fun to use. And in particular for me, I don't really have anyone to play with. You know, most of my friends don't play Payday anymore, so this is a useless perk deck when it comes to trying to solo or play with AI. With AI, it's because you can't activate it on AI teammates. I mean, AI already don't get very many kills to begin with. I don't see why they couldn't just add that. Maybe it's a balance thing again. But even if they didn't want the AI kills to count, they could have just let you activate it on AI so that you could still get kills and it would still work as a perk deck when playing solo. I don't, I don't know. Everything about this perk deck is just not user friendly. But, you know, hey, that's fine. I'd rather have Stoic, the free perk deck, be OP, than this one be worthless, since, you know, this one's paid for anyway. Maybe people will finally shut up about that kind of stuff. It's just a damn shame, because I think it's kind of cute how they play the whole couple thing for Ethan and Gila. You know, I don't know much about them. I don't really watch YouTubers, and I just play video games. That's my shtick, but I kind of enjoy how they're, like, an unlikely couple, and they make things work together and they're, I don't know, they're doing stuff. It's just, it's kind of cute. I, I just enjoy it.